Hey, welcome back. I want to talk to you about how to get site reviews on your website. There's tons of plugins out there. I'm a big fan of WP Social Ninja, but what if you very simply want to have a facility on maybe a contact page or even your home page where you're trying to collect reviews? You know, you might not have as many Google reviews or whatever, Facebook reviews and things like that. You could put in a free plugin onto your website where it allows your users to basically, as you can see here, fill in the stars and leave a review. Now, once they submit that, that does not become available on your website. So you can be a little bit selective over what you show, but it means you get to audit as well. But it means you've got a facility for people to do that. I'm going to show you how to do that for totally for free. I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow because we love having you all. Now, the plugin we're talking about is site reviews. You can't get much more simpler than that. Can you site reviews? by Paul Riley, okay, um, it's, it's last updated three weeks ago, it's it's it, it's a really good um, uh, plugin, I think. Now once you've installed it, when you go to the settings for this, over here, okay, this is one we've just installed onto someone's website, so there's going to be no reviews here at the moment. Um, I mean, here's one I did, um, just, I entered in a test one anyway, but I can approve, unapprove it, approve it, and I can start to show it on the website. But what I wanted to show you were the settings, okay? We do have categories. So you might wanna have like, um, you might wanna put this on four different pages. So you might have home page, you might have a review page for a particular product or a particular service like fire safety training or something like that. So you can start to um, designate them to different areas. That's really, really good and very important. In the settings, well, I didn't actually change anything here. I just left it as it was. Um, the plugin style I left is that there are, you do have these different styles, but I have to be honest, I just went for site reviews default. Um, you could go for minimal, which is gonna have a slightly different look. You can play around with this, but I found the site reviews default works really, really well for me. And I didn't change any of the settings here. In terms of reviews, I left them as it was. I mean, this is where you can now start to decide on um, the format and the way things look and also what are the required fields. So you might go, well, is the title really important? You know, do you want to have terms? I think terms is important. And I'm going to say this, okay, in that you do have a part over here where it might say that, you know, when you leave a review, you are agreeing to, you know, um, your details being shared on the website, for instance. I think that's important. You know, sometimes someone leaves a review, do they really want their name uh, present, not the email address, but their name present. But, but basically, in a nutshell, this is all you're doing. You just fly through it. You're not really having to think much. You just install it and let it do its stuff. And I did not mess about with the tools either, export, import, or anything like that. Now, when it comes to the actual page, and I'll show you what you get. When we scroll down, we actually have a widget for this. If I go over here and I type in review, you've got it there, submit a review. Now, what's really cool about this is, can you see there are options for summary of reviews and recent reviews? So once you've started collecting reviews and you've approved them and you're happy with them, you can start to bring over this widget and you can start to say, well, I'm only going to show this category or I'm going to show, well, let me just show you what happens here. Let me just drop it in, okay? So that's now added in and you can start to just, you can add in a title, you can add in a title there, how many reviews you're going to show and you can start to decide on like, um, you know, hide the title, for instance, um, hide the date, hide the any links, uh, maybe even hide the avatar, hide the author, hide the response. So you just have it like that. You could even hide the content. You just have the stars showing. OK, you can even decide on if you're only going to show five and four stars. I mean, I think you need to be honest when you have reviews. If you're getting zero, one or two stars, you need to address that. Don't just ignore it. But you can start to decide on all of that as well. I'm just going to get rid of this one here. If we go down to this plugin, the one that I added, which was submit a review, um, I've said assign it to the current page. You could assign it to a parent page as well, which doesn't totally make sense to me, but I'm just assigned it to the current page. And um, you can also assign reviews to a category, like I said. So if you've got a category for, for a particular product or a service, you could type that in and it will now assign that review to that category, which is good for your analytics and stuff like that. And look, like I said, look, you can start to decide what kind of fields are you going to allow them to have. You know, maybe you want people to be fully, you know, you want to be totally honest, but you're not collecting name or email. So you're now just saying, look, just stick your review in, okay? 
And but I would say name and email is quite important because you can then kind of work out if there are spam or anything like that. And you don't need to really worry about the advanced tab. And of course, you have the normal elemental features where you can start to do the styling and things like that. It's totally free. It's and I know there are other plugins out there, okay, site reviews, but it's free. You stick it on and away you go. Look, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.